Hey guys, it's me Sunny, and today I am a couple days away from being um, having my first doula, my birth doula client, and uh, I don't have they, I don't have childcare. So the thing about childcare with being a birth doula is that you have to know exactly when you'll need them for childcare, and with a birth you don't know when they're going into labor, so you can't say oh Friday at this time or Wednesday at this time because you don't know if that's when they're going to be in active labor. And you don't want to sit there all day and all night and maybe 48 hours passes and they're still, um, they still haven't delivered. So child care is something that I think is very important for a birth doula to have. If you have children, um, uh, most people have husbands for support and, uh, that's great for them. <laughs> but, uh, mine isn't supportive. And so I can't depend on him to watch my children, especially for 12 to 24 hours at a time. Um, and so child care is something that I think all birth doulas should think about when they're deciding to be a birth doula, because not everyone can do it if you if you don't have child care. And some people might say, well, if you have daycare, you can do it that way. But once again, you don't know if the person's going to be delivering during the daytime or the nighttime. If you get called at 2 a.m. in the morning, daycare isn't open. <laughs> so you need someone to watch your kid then. And you can say, well, if I if if they just so happen to be due during the daytime, then I'll have child care. Well, that's true. But uh, you can't determine when the person's going to uh, go into labor and how long they're going to be in labor. For my doula contract, I say that I'm going to be there 12 hours, and then my backup doula will take over for 12 hours. But right now, it's looking like my backup doula is going to have to take over for 24 hours. Because I may not be able to get there because of my kids. And I'm not blaming my kids for this. This is my fault. I should have thought about this in advance. And I thought that my mother would be here to watch my kids. But she's going out of town for the week. And so I have to depend on my own resources to um, figure out who's going to watch my kids. Now I looked into several 24-hour daycares around here. I looked into um, nannies, I looked into babysitters, and all of them charged a lot. A lot. And what I didn't know until now is that I was supposed to incorporate the price of babysitters and nannies into my fee for my doula service. And I didn't do that one. Actually, this one that I'm doing right now is pro bono. So, I'm taking on all the charges for that. Um... I didn't think about that, but uh, I want you guys to think about that because it's something that you should do if you're going to do birth doula services. And I consider also doing postpartum services, and I'm supposed to do postpartum services, that it will be a lot easier because I can schedule the date and time, but even with that, I still need child care. So this is what I'm going through right now, and I hope that all of you birth doulas are prepared for that. Um, and yeah, that's all I want to say.